Hey, it's Ryan at Prisma here, and today I'd like to talk about a brand new feature at Prisma 2.15, which is database seeding. So thinking about situations where we have, say, new developers coming onto Teams, we need to get them set up with a local development environment. And part of that is getting them a database that's filled with data that's ready to use. One of the best ways to do this is to prepare a data set ahead of time and then make it available to seed into a database via some command, which will put the data into the database and have it ready to go for that developer. And now at Prisma 2.15, that's very easy with a new command, which is Prisma DB Seed. So we'll take a look at how to do that today. You can take a look at the release notes here at Prisma on GitHub, and it's under the release with a tag of 2.15.0. So let's hop over to a new workspace here, a new Prisma workspace. Let's create a model for maybe a product. We'll work with a products table. We'll have an ID, that field will be a string, we'll mark it as the primary key, and we'll say the default should be a collision resistant unique ID. Then we'll give it some other fields, maybe a name field, let's give it a description field, and then we'll give it a price field. So that looks good, and now we can run npx prisma migrate dev, we'll run that as a preview feature for now. And that's going to run a migration to get data into the database for us. All right, looks good there. We can run MPX Prisma Studio to take a look at this over in the browser. So there's our products table ready to go. We just need to get some data into it now. So the way this works is we can head over to our Prisma directory and we need to create a new file called seed.ts. So this can be a TypeScript file. It can also be a JavaScript file. Uh, there's options also for it to be a shell script or a, a Go file. But because we're using TypeScript here, it makes sense for us to call it seed.ts. And this will house the logic, which will actually go through and seed our database. We'll want to maybe get some data in place here to use. So we can have products.ts, and I'll just paste in some data that I've got on my clipboard. So just three items. We've got a t-shirt, a sweater, and then a button down here. Okay, so over in seed.ts, let's start by importing products from, we'll go just into that products file that we just created. Then we'll want to import the Prisma client here from at Prisma slash client. So then what we'll want to do is create an instance. We can do a constant of Prisma equals a new Prisma client. And the idea now is we want to loop over this data, insert it into the database, and then exit out. And we'll be able to call this file via the command line afterwards. So we'll have an async function here, async function, we'll call it main, just something generic. And let's do a for of loop. So we'll do for let products of products. So we'll loop over in a for of loop. And in there we can do await prisma product create and we'll say the data is going to be the individual product. So we're looping over each product and we're inserting into the database that way. Then down here we can say, let's execute the function main and we can look for errors, so we'll catch an error. And we can console.log that error if need be. And we can also do process.exit with an exit code of one. That's kind of a typical exit, way to exit in a node script. And we can do a finally, and in the finally block here, the idea is we want to disconnect. We want to disconnect uh, Prisma. And to do that, we can do Prisma dollar disconnect. We'll call that. All right, so that's looking good. And the idea now is we want to run the dbc command from the command line, which will pick up this seed.ts file and we'll actually seed the database. So then here from the command line, we can run npx prisma db seed, and we need to run it with the preview feature flag at the time of this recording. So that's going to go in, look at our seed.ts file, and if everything's good, we'll get this message that the database has been seeded. And we can verify that over here in the browser if we take Take a look, we refresh, and we see our data in place. So a very useful tool for seeding data into the database, and you can put this into the onboarding flow for your developers. You can use it in many different ways. We'd love to hear your feedback about this feature. If you've got any specific feedback, feel free to reach out to us on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash Prisma. Thanks for watching.